earn 15,000, 15,000 Nigerian girls and women are being sexually trafficked in Italy. Many of the people who cross, 10 to 15% who cross the cold Mediterranean this week and next week and all for the next couple months are Nigerians. Many of them are drowning. We see a situation of 2.1, 2.2 living in refugee camps facing famine. We see two of the most dangerous groups, according to the World Terrorism Index, Boko Haram and the Fulani extremists, operating there. When we were there, people said, Mr. Wolf, can you go back and tell we need help from, from the United States? It is time now, it is time now to appoint one person to be a special envoy or a coordinator, if you will, for Nigeria and the Lake Chad region. If this were happening in Norway, the world would be up in arms. If this were happening in Denmark, the world would be up in arms. It's happening in, in, in Africa, in the largest country in Africa, over 200 million people. The figures show that in 2050, more people will live in Nigeria than live here in the United States. Very few members of Congress, almost no one, other than maybe Chris Smith, have even bothered to take the time to go to Nigeria. Almost nobody from any administration goes there, and when they do, they fly into Abuja or Lagos and give a speech and stay there for six hours, and the propellers are whipping up and they get on the plane and they fly away. When you have 15,000 people killed, what's taking place, and, and remember, the four Americans, the four American soldiers who were killed in Niger were killed by a group connected to Boko Haram. So we need somebody to coordinate both the intelligence, the military, the food, the hunger, AID, all these together. And that is a special honor. But my last comment is, is this. I remember in four years ago, 2014, April, 200 some Christian girls, the Shabbat girls, were were kidnapped. The world, the world did, all the political leaders of all leaders of all the world did, hashtag, bring back our girls. Almost 50% of the girls are not back. I did not see one hashtag, bring back our girls this April. The girls have been forgotten about. We have a moral obligation and I think what I urge the commission to do and all of you to take advantage of where we are at this time, because President Trump has said positive things. We've had great things from Vice President Pence. We have an administration I think is ready for this to appoint a special envoy for Nigeria and a Lake Chad region to work with all with Nigeria and all the countries to bring about a peace in the region.